I decided to train every day for 90 days to uncover some of the myths and misunderstandings around the topics like is it overtraining? Do you gain more muscle? Do you gain negative muscles? Is it beneficial or not? How to program your training around it? And what are the downsides if there are any? I said this and I will say this again. Most of the gym goers are under training and they never in their life will have to fear overtraining, especially for hypertrophy with smart programming and plan, even if you are taking 80% of your sets all the way to failure and beyond. But the real question is, do you gain more muscle or you lose it? And I'm really excited to say this, that you gain more. Unfortunately, training every day can maximize your gains if it is done correctly. I trained four times before, upper, lower, upper, lower and then I changed it to push, pull leg, arms and legs. And when I finished it, I just jumped back to the beginning and repeated the whole process. And that's how my seven days look like. And it ended up exploding my lifts, all of it. Overhead triceps extension, almost double down on the weight what I was doing. Leg press, it went up by 30%. Hip thrust went from 120 kilogram all the way to 190 kilogram. Biceps are visibly more muscular and stronger than they ever been before. Leg extension, I maxed out the machine and I got to the point where I'm just ramping up the reps and trying to improve my control. And I could list this forever. The point is, frequency can improve your strength. We know this. Improving your strength in a hypertrophy rep range will improve your overall musculature. It is inevitable. So to answer the question, is it beneficial? Absolutely. How to program your training around it? As you can see, I ran a 5-day split and I just repeated it. And in the entire 90 days, I took off 8 days. Some days I went down, I saw huge regression in my first set and I just walked home. A few days, I knew it was pointless to go down, so didn't even go. These days usually happened when I had to train legs 4 times per week and I improved all of my lifts. That ended up in a really big fatigue where I knew that going down would result in regression and walking home again. I only did 4 to 5 exercises every day, 2 to 3 sets, all the way to failure, some of them beyond failure, and it was nowhere near close to being overtrained. But the major downside was time. I found it difficult to fit in the training for two reasons. I'm doing a mini cut right now, and my life is sedentary, so walking to the gym, train, going home and then spending most of my time from the screen. So there is no steps apart from going to the gym. That's 5,000 steps. So I started doing cardio four to five times per week, 30 to 60 minutes, just walking. So combining that with my training and walking to the gym and back ended up taking two hours to two and a half hours from my day. Apart from that, if I didn't have to do cardio and I just had to go to the gym, train, go home, it would be around one and a half hour. I would have no problem doing that every day. I can easily afford that to maximize my gains if I'm just giving up one hour from my free time. But do I recommend this? Absolutely not. Not because it doesn't work, but because it's difficult to pull it off without professional help. I know my body and I'm also a professional, so I have no hurdles doing this. But combine this with badly designed training program, insufficient intensity, bad volume recommendation and poorly chosen exercises and that is a recipe for disaster. Training this way can maximize your gains. I experienced it firsthand. But going to the gym four to five times per week will get you 95% of the result anyway. I'm going to carry on doing this because it worked wonders. But if you are interested in more details about how to do it, just let me know and I will make a mini series about all the components. Talk to you soon.